in a package. Are you excited? Because today is another mystery box challenge and I got this package from Shannon over at the Cozy Christmas Cottage. I can't wait, it came straight from the North Pole. At least that is what the package says. You guys, she wrapped it like Fort Knox, so let's dive on in and see what she sent me. Anyone missing tape this year? I found it. This definitely was not gonna unwrap itself. Whew. Dear Jennifer, I think you'll figure out the theme of your box as soon as you open it, and I hope you have a lot of fun with the items I picked out for you. The snowman tagged package is a gift from me to you. Thank you for being such a wonderful friend. It extends beyond crafts and YouTube. Wishing you a beautiful family. Wishing you and your beautiful family a very Merry Christmas, Shannon. Oh, I love her. I really do. She's one of my favorites. For this month, it was anything goes. We just needed to make sure that we included those two challenge items. So if you wanna see who I sent my box to, make sure you check the description box so that you get a link to the entire playlist. And I wanna thank Courtney for organizing this every other month for us. It is so much fun to participate in. I got a PS. Oh no. PS, Whitney, if you are watching, yes, I did reuse your tissue paper. <laughs> I can't be the only one who reuses gifting materials. No, no, you're not. Let's see what's wrapped up with the cute snowman tag. Oh, and more of her cute little tape. Oh, she got me winter. If you do not know it, this is the best smelling candle ever. I don't mean just from Bath and Body just in the winter time. This is the best smelling candle of all time. It is the winter scent from Bath and Body. Oh, I want to bathe in it. Thank you. Okay, yeah. hey, challenge item one. <gasps> okay, I'm not sure how I'm gonna use it, but it's really cute. It is a little baking set. Okay. Y'all, this tape. Me and tape today. Not my friend. I really love that these have wooden handles and so I wanted to go in with some decals that I created with my Cricut and I didn't want to keep it just to Christmas so I did whisk it, whisk it good and I licked it so now it's mine which you guys, that is my daughter to a T. All I did is use some transfer tape to help me apply them to the handles and they were all done. I think they are funny and cute. I absolutely love them. Okay, challenge item number two. I might have got too excited about the first one. We have colored bottle brush trees. Pretty excited, but not gonna lie, this reminds me of Shannon's craft room and Dr. Seuss. Originally, my thought was to do a small garland with these little bottle brush trees, but you'll see what I do with them in just a little bit, so hang tight. Courtney has asked us to all do an act of kindness as part of this challenge and extend the invitation to you as well. So one of the things that I'm doing that's not on this list is I'm actually providing all the things needed for my son's class party because I know that funds are really tight for a lot of people and I don't want them to have to worry about one more thing. So that's just a small thing that I'm able to do. But whether you do something that's monetary or just something kind for somebody, anything you do just adds a little bit more light in this world. Okay, big reusable Target bag. <gasps> Did you already see this? How cute. Not gonna lie to you, I'm in Texas and I have never once in my life been in a pair of snowshoes. But boy, are those the cutest thing ever and I wanted to create just a quick little swag. So here I have some different picks. These all came from Hobby Lobby. I've had them for a while. So I just picked them out of my stash. I have three of the green ones two of the ones with the buffalo check, and I'm just grabbing the green ones, I'm stacking them together, lighting the snowshoes straight down the middle one, placing the buffalo check on top of that, and then I use a zip tie to cinch them all together. From there, I went ahead and I cut 15 inch strips of buffalo check ribbon, a total of seven strips to make a really simple and easy bow. If you wanna see the whole video on how I create this bow, I'll link that above for you and in the description box. 
I did decide to go ahead and cut part of the stems off just because they don't look real, so I didn't want them sticking up too much, so I used my wire cutters to do that. I then place the Chanel stem through the bow to attach it onto the swag, and then this is all done. I absolutely love it, and I love how it will carry me into and through the winter. But I am dying. You haven't even seen this part yet. There are little snowmen. I have a whole snowman room. I decided to keep these snowmen super simple, so I grabbed out some scrap greenery and holly, and I trimmed off the greenery. And for the larger one and the smaller one, I hot glued a little bit of that greenery once I gathered it up onto the hat. And then I grabbed some of those red berries and I placed those in the center of that. Now for the middle size one, I took some fabric that I cut into a strip and I tied it around the neck to act as a scarf. And that was all I did with these and I think they look so cute and wintry. Again, I absolutely love snowmen, big and small. So this makes I seriously think this sleigh is just the cutest and I absolutely love them for winter. And I thought it would make a really cute planter. I know that's not unique, but hey, if it's working, why not just go with it? So I grabbed some greenery that I already had. I love this greenery with berries. I'm pretty sure that I got it at Walmart last year. So I went ahead and I just stacked that in there along with this bottle brush tree that I picked up at Walmart this year. I just really like the layering idea. And then I had some other greenery with these little foam white balls on it. It was part of some other greenery. I'm just using that to layer. After that, I went ahead and created a really easy bow. Again, I'm gonna link that video so you can check out how I did that. And then I decided it needed a little bit more pop of red. So I added in some red holly berries once that was in there, this was all done. I absolutely love it. I think it is beautiful. It'd make a great centerpiece on a table. Just stunning. I'm just going to redecorate everything. Okay, so we have green, which I am so into green this year. And I'm trying to read the towel, and I can't read the towel, and I want to read the towel. Cabin rolls. Oh. I don't even have a cabin, I don't even care. Okay, cabin rules. Go skiing, build a snowman, sleep in, yes please. Cuddles, make memories, cherish family time, sit by the fire, sip hot chocolate, relax. Y'all, that is winter rules. That is mommy rules. That is, I live in Texas. We can skip the skiing part. Other than that, yes please. How could I not get these two together and make the cutest little pillow? But of course, I don't need cabin rolls, skiing, or snowmen because none of those apply to me. And so immediately I knew that was the part I needed to cut off, which actually will make this the perfect size pillow. Love this white stitching on this green towel. I thought it was so cute, so I wanted to leave it, so I was gonna cut the other side, and I did cut the green towel just a tad bit longer than the white towel. You'll understand why in just a moment. Go ahead and iron out all of the wrinkles and then I folded over that decorative seam and pressed it down. The reason for this is when I'm combining everything, I actually want that to fold over the top of the white towel. I thought that looked super cute. I'm just using hot glue to combine these together to create this pillow. You can of course sew it if you want to, but hot glue is fast and easy and it has held up for me time and time again, so it is my tried and true. So I hot glued the top and then both of the sides. After that, I went in and I stuffed it with some polyfill. Once I had it as full as I wanted to, I used some more hot glue to close it off. Simple and easy, I absolutely love it, and you can bet this will stay up through Christmas and winter. It is darling. Okay, little jars with black lids. And they have little Christmas things on the front with twine. But I can do things with these. They're pretty simple. <gasps> oh, that's cute. Okay, so, y'all, I didn't get anything bad. We have a Merry Christmas wood round with little felt leaves and holly berries that are made of pom-poms. That is really cute. So I can either actually just make it the way it comes or 
do my own thing, which y'all know me, so more than likely, I'll do my own thing. I decided to combine the next two items to make a little stand. Here's all the things that were in the bag that was connected to the little Merry Christmas. I thought it was so cute. I won't be using it now, but I will definitely save it and use it later. I'm using a little bit of wood glue to attach the lid to the Merry Christmas. I just placed it right in the center and I like to put something heavy on top to hold that while it dries. Once it's dried, you got an easy little stand, but I wanted to take it up a notch. So using the smaller half beads, I get these on Amazon. I spray painted them black. Once they were dried, I used some hot glue and glued them all the way around the outside perimeter of the little Merry Christmas. And I thought that really added a nice touch. Now for those bottle brush trees. I grabbed out the little green one and some faux snow and I'm using the little jar and I dumped in some of that snow and stuck that little tree inside and I decided to add a few of these berries to give it a pop of color. After that, just pop that lid right back on top of that jar and now you have a beautiful little stand. I absolutely love this and you really can change out the jar with different winter scenes. I just think it is so cute. Cute little snowflake. She sent me a little set of gift bags. Again, plaid. I'm not gonna lie, I'm so glad that plaid is back. I just love it so much. So I'm using the green and black plaid bag and this Dollar Tree sign. So I went ahead and popped the sign out and then I place it on top of the bag and I'm using a craft knife and just cutting around it. And then some regular stick glue, placing that all over the sign, placing my little cutout right on top and putting that right back into the sign. Easy peasy. After that, I use some hot glue, take it around the snowflake and pop that right in the center. This is done. It took me just a few seconds. Okay, maybe a whole minute, but isn't it darling? We have gift tag stickers. I love the colors of these. You really get some pretty cute and great variety in this package and you get a total of four of these pages. I really love it. So to start off with, all I did was cut out a few of these tags and trimmed out like the design itself. I didn't want the part where you would write your name. I cut that out and to really give it a nice straight edge, I actually used my trimmer. After that, I just popped it on some tags, wooden tags that I had and that was it. How cute are these? It just took the tags, elevated a little bit, and it just took me a matter of a couple of minutes. Is that not darling? I may have a slight obsession with Santa mailboxes this year. There was my first one. There's another thing for Santa's letters. And I just could not think to do anything with it other than hang this on a tree. Sometimes you just gotta leave things alone. So simply, that is all this did. It was added to my collection. So anytime someone comes to my door, they now will think I'm the crazy Santa letter girl. And you know what? It's fine. It is absolutely fine. And then I got a little door hanging thing. I would love to know how you have used this door or how you would use this door. I had grabbed some letters from Walmart that I never used in another project to spell out the word snow, so I figured it was time to use them. I turned the door and then just hot glued the letters on. To me, they kind of look like if the wind blows, you know how you get like the snow kind of has like that mountainy. It never lays actually flat. It kind of has like hills and valleys. That's what I was going for with how I put the letters on there. I think it's so cute. And then, like I mentioned, I have a snowman room with a snowman tree, and this was the perfect addition. Don't forget to check the description box for the playlist. Thank you, Shannon, so much for sending me so many great items to work with. I had so much fun. I hope you did too. Thank you for spending your time with me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!